I've been using Plex to host all of my media for the last year or so, and I absolutely love it. My server has just over 300 movies, and I continue to add more as my Blu-ray collection grows. It's a perfect way to store your movie and TV collection, and it works great with a number of different players. I use the Roku streaming stick and their iOS applications. You're viewing the standard web interface right now. Like most people with Plex servers, I rip my Blu-rays and DVDs with MakeMKV. There's no easier way to do it. The software is perfect. While some people keep the MKV file and dump it right on their server, I found those files to be just a little too big for my purposes. One Blu-ray could be over 30 gigs. My budget just doesn't allow for that many hard drives. So instead, I use Handbrake to compress those MKVs to a more bearable size. But I have to admit, I am pretty picky about quality. There's no point in having a server full of movies if you're not happy with the quality. I've been tweaking settings and handbrakes for a while and browsing Reddit and forums for suggestions. Here's what I found works best for me. In the summary tab, I keep everything on the default settings. We'll be creating an MP4 file and I leave align AV start checked. I don't mess with any of the dimensions either. I don't want any cropping or to change the aspect ratio. For this tutorial, I'm using an MKV of a DVD, so this is in standard definition, but these are the same settings that I use for Blu-rays. The Filters tab also stays the same for me. No need to make any changes here. Under Video, this is where I make the most adjustments. I use H.264 for my video encoder, though some people online prefer the newer H.265. My server hardware is pretty old, so I like to stick with an older encoder. I leave the frame rate the same and keep peak frame rate selected. Within encoder options, I turn the preset down to slower and I have found that I prefer the film tune. I adjust the profile to high and the compression level to 4.1. Under quality, I adjust constant quality to 18. I've seen some people use average bitrate as their target, but I have more success adjusting the RF to 18 here. When messing with the bitrate, I sometimes have had larger files than the source. Moving on to audio, this movie has a 5.1 channel track and I prefer to mix down the 5.1 channels. If you're not worried about surround sound, you can just do a stereo mix. I found that a bitrate of 160 is perfectly fine. I don't make any adjustments to the subtitle tracks. I want to burn in those foreign audio subtitles and I make sure to keep chapter markers. Once the settings are in place, you can start your encode. Then make sure you save the preset. If you'd like, you can make it your default. I feel like I should warn you, these settings can cause some long encodes. This DVD took just under two hours to encode on my MacBook Pro. I have a couple older machines that I use to encode Blu-ray rips using these settings, and they can take up to 24 hours for an encode. But guys, it's totally worth it. These settings look great while watching on a big screen or an iPad, and the file sizes aren't too shabby either. So those are my settings for Handbrake. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you'd like, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and see you on the next one.